When doubts creep into the mind of a Jehovah's Witness, the solution is to suspend disbelief and assume that Watchtower, supposedly God's one true spirit-directed organization, could never err in its teachings or theological claims. Only one side of the argument can be heard, and anything critical of the organization must be strenuously ignored. Any witness who discovers something that threatens to sow discord by debunking previously established dogma must practice self-censorship and persist with encouraging total strangers to believe things of which they themselves are uncertain. But once you have freed yourself from fear of Watchtower and you find yourself questioning your decision to leave, the solution is far more satisfying. You are free to fully explore both sides of the argument through meaningful, objective research, unafraid of what you will discover. As witnesses, we were taught to fear doubts and eradicate them whenever they surfaced. As ex-witnesses, we can teach ourselves to embrace skepticism, acknowledging that we do not have all the answers to life's questions and most likely never will. Yes, doubts can be unpleasant if they are based on coercion and misinformation, or they are making us feel guilty or unworthy. But once wrestled into their proper place through the application of logic and reason, they can also be a valuable, intimate reminder of how much we have advanced and matured. Doubts may still pester us from time to time, but the more our mind is equipped with knowledge and argumentation derived by means of proper research and logical, coherent reasoning, the less troubling and more fleeting these episodes of uncertainty are likely to be. The moment we do not have any doubts and feel completely confident that we know everything is arguably the moment we need to panic, because it is likely that we have fallen under the spell of another cult. Regardless of what your religious or non-religious beliefs end up being after walking away from Jehovah's Witnesses, let nobody persuade you that you are giving up on everlasting life by escaping Watchtower. Whether you are religious or not, life is a precious and extremely rare gift, and we cannot afford to waste a moment of it believing and expounding bad ideas. When asked for an answer to, Lord, whom shall we go away to? My answer is, I'm going nowhere. I'm getting rid of lies and wrong assumptions, and I'm much happier and less confused by so doing. Oh, it's a